Hello, Monsters of Banhood. Welcome back to Total Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and Part 5 of my Patreon supporter Tic Tac Toe campaign. Last time, we had issues when I didn't realise there were Petonians still around. And that, that caused some... Oh, that set the cat amongst the pigeons, wouldn't it? Or rather, the cat amongst the lizards. Cats eat lizards? I mean, cats probably eat anything, really, wouldn't they? Tic Tac Toe signal! They eat their owners when they die, so... Lizards... It's probably a step up. Anyway, the point is that um, now I, I genuinely have not right. It's, it's it's the period between Christmas and New Year's. No one knows what's going on. It's like a black hole of time, right? So I, I try to put these videos out bi-weekly, but am I? Genuinely couldn't tell you. I don't know. I mean, it, it it'll settle down once. Once I'm um, once it's the once it's 2020, 2022, Really. Sounds like the fucking future. I mean, it is the future, but it sounds like we should have flying cars. The fact we don't have flying cars by now is because you probably touch yourself at night, so stop that. But I forgot where I was going with this. But the right. So the point is that I don't know what 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 what's going on here. So I'm hopefully uploading them twice a week, but maybe not. But it'd be it'd be fine. I mean, it's not the first time I've forgotten. Sometimes I forget anyway. At that point, you know, I quickly throw something together with absolutely no quality lost, I think you'll agree, because you need a certain level of quality before you can actually, you know, if you can't get negative quality, oh, well, actually, no, you can get negative quality, can't you? The, look, shut up, right. So, anyway, um, so, there was a poll last time, and uh, we, we'd asked the question, who should we kill? Should we concentrate on finishing off the Protonians? Should we attack Skeletor? Yeah, He-Man! Or should we attack the Orcs? Or should we just attack anyone? I mean, everyone. But just, just, uh, just, just go, just go mad. And um, it should be said that uh, everyone said, well, most people said, concentrate on killing the Bretonians, which is rare for you guys. Is that, is that the Christmas spirit coming in? I thought everyone vote for attack everyone. I just have to, just pick that up. But uh, no. Oh well. As you command, my lieges, my ladies. We're gonna, we're gonna soup over here. We're gonna knock out these Bretonians. We're gonna my take Kemri. Will she not? Okay. And uh, we're going to take the Black Pyramid and the Gash. We're going to get our, our sticky little lizard paws all over that. And then we'll go and maybe kill the Orcs and Skeletor. I mean, Skeletor actually quite likes us for some reason. You come to the Lich King. <laughs> Brave or foolish. Yeah, so there we go. He actually quite likes me for some... I don't know why, but he does. So... That's good. I think. Anyway, so we need to we need to retake the pools. Hello. Do you want you want me to join your war again? No. I mean, you didn't even give me any money. What did you What do you think was going to happen? What did you think was going to happen? Hey. Hmm. 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 Oh shit! What the hell happened there? They broke through. They smashed through our lines. Lord Croak stirs. Okay. Uh, through a network of informants, this hero has uncovered an assassination plot against you by a high-ranking traitor. Son of a bitch. All right, where did these motherfucking return? Look at these wankers. I'm making a break for it. Are they heading for El Calabar? Oh, you bastards. Well, you can die. So you'd be dead. Um, at least you're taking attrition, I guess. What you ask is impossible. But El Calabab has no. Not in this world or the other. It is forbidden. Has no defenses. So I'm going to get ahead of you. We're racing for elk. It's like wacky races. But not as fun. Um, so we're gonna right, goose. You, oh, I could give you a sticky don, but then you'd be on the ground. I don't want to do that. So you can. Um, what charge bonus? And Maverick, you're gonna get comet. No, change my mind. Magical reserves. Magical reserves and Telsey and the Flappy Burb, you can have jungle toxins for no particular reason. Excellent. Right. And we're going to head for Kemri. 
Scarecrow. And if we can knock that out, then with any luck, they'll just... I mean, I don't know why they're not going for the Pools of Despair, to be honest. They really should be, because that's, you know, undefended as well. But who, who bloody knows, eh? Who bloody knows? Okay, to be fair, they did go for the Pools of Despair, so... Fair enough. Right. Kemri has not much in the way of, of defences. But we do need a battering ram, just to prove that we really want it. We'll build a battering ram as an offering to the gods of siege, and uh, then we fly over the walls and bomb everyone inside, as is as is mother motherfucking tradition. I don't care for this order. Okay, you're both badly mauled, so I think I'm fairly safe, he says. Unsure that that's true. But, you know, pr probably. We're probably fine. If we can take out Kemri, and we can, it's not it's not a problem, then at least those armies should start taking attrition. Ugh, what do you want? Uh, um, no. No, Skeletor, because no one likes you. No one likes you, Skeletor, and um, I don't want to be dragged into your petty little... Holy shit, Grimgold's art boys are dead. Well, there we go. Didn't think they'd be dead. Karak Ekrund is reclaimed. Uh, does it say by who? No, it does not. But apparently Grimgore's our boys are dead. You know what? Using this mod um, selection that I'm using here, I haven't... What the fuck a Karak... Karak Zorn. Don't you start, like, over here somewhere? Okay. All right. Well, let's um, let's. Uh, oh, hello. You've come to join the party as well, have you? Well, it'd be nice to to join in that, but no. I think I can do this by myself, and there's no point uh, going through all the cool. the annoyance. So we'll just go and take that right away, like that. Excellent. Right, we've got the growth. I like that. Cyrus Warriors, not the worst thing to have. We've got some public order. That's pretty good. We've got the money. I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of that, really. That's fine. Apart from we don't have the gold mine, which uh, which would be useful. So, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of skink buildings, so let's knock down the skink buildings. Considering that's like the skink ghettos, is that me just bulldozing their houses so I can put a gold mine on? Because that feels very... It doesn't feel good anyway. Um, the little little skink orphans all out in the snow or sand because it's a desert. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, right. Well, we've taken that. They're now taking attrition, which is good. And we can have geomantic sustenance. Lovely. That's going to reduce the upkeep. These boys are now only 69. Nice upkeep. So that's fun. Indeed, Pterodon Shimmy. Shimmy them Pterodons. What does that mean? Uh, is that just like some skink filthy language? I don't know. Shimmy a Pterodon. For me, love. Ugh. Do I want anything here? I mean, we've got the public order. You're fairly stable, so I think that's probably fine. We probably want defences here because we are bordering these guys, and while they do like us at the moment, uh, they're not. Uh, this it's, it's, it's getting it's going south, isn't it? It's going south because of uh, my friendship with Skeletor, who's a big dirty Skellington. What do I need to do there? Complete the rite of awakening? No. Oh yeah, no, it's okay. Oh oh oh! You're gonna run away? Go on, run away, run away, right into. Tiny's arms. He wants to give you a big hug. Are they just are they just panicking? What are they doing? They're, they're thinking about it and then they just fuck scatter. So ambush was foiled, but that's fine. Oh look, there's a little army over here. Hello. Remember when you tried to invade me? I could have killed one of your enemies, but you were too busy, weren't you? Too busy. 
too busy. Right. Um, let's... Now's the time. Now, the orcs don't like... Do we have an aggression pact with these guys? We do. So the likelihood of them attacking me is pretty low. I mean, it's not non-existent, but it's low. So, let's go and take the Black Pyramid of Nagash. But before we do that, we're going to have to do a classic top... You know, like in, in Top Gear, or what is it now? Um, the Grand Tour, that's the one. And they're doing one of their... Their things, their specials, and then halfway through, they have to refit their vehicles. And that's this part. This, we're going to refit this army. We're going to get rid of these skinks, and we're going to get something a little bit more tanky. Well, we're going to get Cyrus. Is basically what we're going to do. We're going to get some Cyrus in there because uh, that will be that will be good. That will that will be a help. Uh, Goose, you're getting immortality. You can never die, Goose. Unlike the film, but I can't entirely remember the, what happened to the film because it's been a long. The only thing I can remember when I think of Top Gun is the very, the very slow motion oiled up volleyball. That's that's the only thing in my mind when I think of that. And I don't think that's you know if that lives rent free, rent rent free, rent free, rent free in my head, then so be it. Oh, um, right. Should have seen that one coming, really. Ugh, well that's tanked my relations then. You may speak before my shield uh, and on the oath still. You don't okay, well we may we may have to kill the dwarves then, because you know, they're not they're not super happy about oh no wait, we need to do the need to do the refit, didn't we? Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. I mean, maybe the dwarves and... I mean, well, the fact that we know all of Arkhan's armies are up here and all the dwarf armies are down here would suggest that the old Skeletor has made somewhat of a, a strategic error. Oopsie. Oopsie, old Skeletor, eh? That's, that's not going to go... You're about to be assaulted by tiny little bearded hairy people. Yeah, you've run away, haven't you? You've run to try and uh, defend that off, but uh, good luck. Also, my reputation's probably in tatters, but this is why I shouldn't have done it. I, I, I knew at the time that making friends with Skeletor was a bad idea. Light Goblin Migration. We've got our Skink Chiefy back. Servants of Quetzal. World Public Order. Servants of Pretzel. Now, you are... Okay, it's only getting down to minus six. And I'm only re low re reliability, not very low. I guess if you backstab Skeletor in the back, everyone's kind of like, yeah, well, yeah, you know, it's going to happen. Okay, we've got some Cyrus. We're going to come down here. Uh-huh. Uh, now, the Black Pyramid of Gash probably has a big garrison as well, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So... Are we going to do some sneaky shenanigans, or are we just going to throw ourselves at the defences and hope for the best? Well, you know, I guess we'll find out. Thing is, what we can't actually, you know what I can do? I can lightning strike, can't I? So I can actually wipe that army out. And then Tiny can do some siege equipment, and then we can attack the city. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, could that, what, what was the name of... Right, hang on. Top... Top Gun characters. There we go. Um, Viper. I remember Goose and Maverick. Uh, Viper. Oh, Iceman. Of course, Iceman. Good. Viper. There we go. Let's get you. Let's get you in here. And how's Kemri doing? Kemri's actually pretty happy. We can get our, get our more gold. Because I do love gold. Uh, we need to do the Rite of Awakening. We need to... Oh, we've got some battles we can win there with... Uh, with Nakai. So we probably want to do that. And we need to win a battle against Skaven. But we haven't, we haven't got any Skaven nearby. So we're going to have to travel. And I, if Clan Moors are dead, we're going to have a lot of trouble actually finding Skaven kill. Oh god, what was that? 
What option did I pick? Shit. Uh... Genuinely don't know. Oh well, never mind. Right. Let's get Telsin the Flappy Burb. You're gonna have uh, piercing shots. Do you have any equipment? Oh, you could have. Okay, have a gold sigil sword. Have a thingy. And I guess, like. Other trickster shots? Right. Now we declare war on these nerds. And we swoop in. We attack and they're like, aha, but we've got multiple stacks. I'm like, no, 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 you don't. So nice when they line up like this for me. It's really helpful. Thanks so much, guys. Let's, uh, let's just quick have a look at the numbers of troops there. Slightly dropping. Drops a bit more. You know what? It didn't drop as much as I thought it would do, although we did, you know, kill the vast majority of the army there by the looks of it. Uh, good. But uh, Mr. Tomb King's down there going, uh, I'm sure I had more skeletons than this. Guys! Guys! What are you doing lying underneath boulders? Guys! And then because we wiped out the skeletal archer unit during the bombardment, um, they don't actually have a way of fighting back, so they, they're not having the best of times. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, this many skeletons probably, considering they just have one archer, it would just be more stuff to kill during the siege battle. But they've already got quite a lot of skeletons, I don't need more to deal with. So, killing this army quickly, lightning strike, you know, it, it does come in useful, good old lightning strike. It even, even if you're not actually knocking out a reinforcing army or anything, the leadership debuff that it does is still very useful. Alright, wasn't it? Um, do I need the I mean, I guess experience gain is, is all good. Ah, oh, we've got the Spirit of Tepok, finally! From the cohort of Huatl. Who is he? Right, okay, so we're gonna lay siege over here. Let's just come in and uh, get some of them siege towers on the old go. Excellent stuff. Right, and we're also gonna get Viper in to replenish our boys. I got experience. I don't know really how much experience you get for, you know, dropping rocks on people, but, you know, there we go. You boys are now 41 upkeep. Perfect. Cheap as chips. Literally. Okay, we've got that going. We could get the Labour District. That is more money. And I do, I do need the monies. Could we also maybe get... Oh, I'm tempted to get the stone marker here for the extra income, but... I think getting defences is probably, probably more sensible. It's probably more sensible, isn't it? Holy crap, the Cult of Pleasure are dead. It's a surprise. Maratha usually does fairly well. Are we take... Oh, you... Bastards. That's fine. Do you, do you take attrition? You do. You. You bastards. You absolute bastards. Okay. We're gonna have to attack now, because otherwise I'm just gonna start suffering attrition. They do have a shit ton of archers, which is a bit of a problem. But I think we're just going to have to go for it and hope for the best. I mean, I like the Black Pyramid, don't get me wrong. It's, it's 
it's cool. Like, I like the fact that it's obviously a big floating obsidian pyramid. Um, I just, now, I, you know what, I might be wrong in this, and if anyone wants to correct me, I'm more than happy to be corrected, but I don't remember any description of it saying it f was flying. Like, unless they just left that part out. Like, they thought maybe it didn't, you know, maybe it doesn't need mentioning that it's, it, it floats higher in the sky. Maybe, that, maybe that's just, oh, you know, don't need that information. It's point, you know, we, I mean, I could add that, yes, it was giant and big and black, and it also flew a mile in the sky, but do, 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 does it really need to be said? And maybe it doesn't, so, um, sure. Anyway, Tic Tac Toe's force is coming as reinforcements, of course, flying right over the head of the enemy units. We want to try and take out the Screaming Skull Catapults, because they could be quite nasty, as well as any Archer units. They could be quite nasty as well. Uh, they do have these big old Screaming Skull blasty things. They're not they're not quite the laser towers of the lizard men. And we do have our Proxical... Oh, Nakai is actually inside the city. He skipped inside the city. He just has a lovely time, doesn't he? It's just this little skippy attack is so much fun. Um, yeah, this, this is how Nakai can get in trouble because I'm, <laughs> I'm fairly sure he just skipped through the gate. Fortunately, the blessed Croxagore can cake down the gate fairly easily. A nice bit of bombardment there, taking out a big chunk of uh, that that blob of skeletons there. And then the Croxagore's charging in. The Croxagore's um, pretty good stat. Should have no trouble bludgeoning all of these skeletons to little bitty pieces. So that's all fine. We have in, we've got a bit of engagement down here, a little bit of trouble as they're throwing more and more units into this mess, and we're trying to take down the Ushabti, but it's not really... I mean, you know what, we might actually do it. I mean, we're trying to take out the archers. But really, I should have been using the uh, Ripodactyls to sort of, like, hit individual... Like, in, like, individual units separated from the pack, hit them from all sides, um, wipe them out, fly away again. That's probably what they should be doing. They're hit and run, aren't they? They're not really hit and then stay there for a bit. And as such, poor old uh, Maverick is, is getting his head kicked in and he can't get out of combat because he's surrounded by Ushabti. And uh, he's too big. He's too... Look at him. He's too big. He can't get out of there. He's trying to get past, but he can't. He's in trouble. We need some... We need some backup. Holy shit. Meanwhile, the city... City gates... The, the gate, yeah. The, the Croxagors are beating the shit out of everything they can get their hands on. Which is why they are best boys. Nakai is up to 48 kills. Uh, probably not much damage value. No, 99 damage value. <laughs> Uh, Maverick has managed to escape thanks to Tic-Tac-Toe landing in the midst of that, and they all decided to jump him instead. So that meant he could get away. Goose as well is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, these, these skinky boys are just very fragile. But we're out of there now. We are free. That's it. Get out of there, Goose. Get out of there. It's fine. We are now out of there, bombarding units at the city centre. Units at the gates. They keep on trying to throw units to reinforce, but they're just throwing more meat to the grinder. Or well, they would be if they weren't skeletons, because they, they are. Up on the walls, the cohort of Sotek are bludgeoning skeleton archers to death, doing quite well with that one. I mean, they're already dead, but you know what I mean. And there's some Ripodactyls over here taking out some skeleton spears. The Chameleon Skinks have snuck up onto the walls. Now, while the skeletons could actually go and engage them, they decided not to, and they're just sort of like meandering around, getting shots to pieces by the Chameleon Skinks, which is fine by me. Don't mind them doing that. Pterodons now hunting down the last few units from the Tomb King, because to be honest, there's not very many left. And the Salamander's getting a lovely arcing shot there. They're actually doing quite well, considering. Um, I'm, I'm impressed that the, the Barbs have actually managed to do some as well. That's that's pretty legit. Need to just get out of that firing range. Uh, some Skink Cohort might be dead. Never mind. With all of the skeletons pretty much dispatched, it just needs to take out this Kemrian War Sphinx. And these guys are tough as balls. So really need to deal with that. Uh, coming down to engage this Tomb Guard that were trying to hit us in the rear. Both uh, Viper and Telsin the Flappy Burb engaging them there to try and keep them from doing that. And the rest of the Pterodons just bombarding the units at the city centre as they desperately try to hold the line. It's not going so well, is it, guys? Hey? Hmm? Hmm? Didn't think so. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's a big pile of dead skeletons there. And some dead Saurus. I don't think there's any dead Croxagors, though. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. He just picked himself up. So there he goes. We have lost... We've lost one Croxagore somewhere. I think. Just the one. Saros took a bit more damage. That wall sphinx is down? Is it? Did it go down? Oh, yes. There it is. On the floor. And now we're moving towards the city centre. Tomb King units now starting to crumble away. I mean, there's not many of them left. Considering they outnumbered us quite significantly, um, they no longer do. Those numbers are dropping all the time. I think the army is close to breaking. Yes, there we go. Crumbling away to nothing. Right. We can take that sand and stick it where the sun don't shine. Although, in the skeleton's case, I guess that's everywhere. The, the point is, I've taken the Black Pyramid to catch. There we go. We've got a maiming shield. There you go. Two maiming shields. Holy shit. Everyone gets a maiming You get a maiming shield and you get a maiming shield. Uh, right, so that's going to increase vampiric corruption by quite a lot, which is not a deal. Um, but we do have untainted here. We could get more untainted. So we could actually get plus eight untainted plus ten untainted. It's not actually too bad. I mean, alternatively, we could just get the this one. Or we could get all of them. Because, I mean, plus 30 winds of power magic reserve is... That's a full tank, isn't it? That's a full bloody tank. Tasty. So, let's... So, we've already got that, which is fine. So, let's get the sacrificial... Oh, wait, can we get a... Oh, we can get Skink Oracle. Those boys are legit. I mean, I don't want to put it in Tic Tac Toe's army because, you know, unless that you can unless you can put wings on that thing, you're no good to me. Mates. I do like dropping comments on people, though. That is that is something I enjoy. Um, so... You know what I... Right. You know what I could do? I could give both of my... Skink Chiefs. Stegodons. And then just make them super duper tanky. Ancient Stegodons. Give them yeah, give them those. Make them super duper tanky. And then just use those to let me ram the enemy army with those boys. And then we just sit around them and bomb the shit out of everyone that's in a big blob. How do we feel about that? I think that's that could work. I think that could work. That could work for me. So that might be what we're doing. Uh let's go replenish troops. So, and then we can get rid of the blessed comedians, because, you know, who needs them? Really. Let's be brutally honest here. And we could, you know what, get Gorilla Fighter. Because then when we get put your nation's naked on, you can Vanguard deploy with everyone else. Be one big Vanguard deployment to happy family. Yes, I know who you are. A storm comes. And you are in the eye. Oh, God. Well, thank you for the weather warning. That's very kind of you. Who likes My me? The Dune Kingdoms like me. How can I make you comfortable? Uh, I don't really want to trade with you. Who, who could I trade with? Okay, people who do not like me. You like me. Board Low likes me. Of the realm. I don't know who that is, though. If we go and find the High Elves, they'll always trade with me, won't they? They should do. Yeah, so we right, we need to go and find some some elves. Where can we recruit an agent to go to find uh, there? Right, skink chief. Let's go you. Right, you are gonna go and find some elves. Because the elves will always trade with everyone. They're just they're not discerning. They're like the Liz Trust of fucking Warhammer. What's that? You want to trade me some sand in exchange for all this gold? Absolutely. Do we? I mean, I, I, if I... Right, if I do this... That's not going to help the build... Does it help the buildings around? Hang on, hang on, 
Hang on. Uh, reinforced stupid. I guess. Is that really going to be that useful to us? We could get the research rate. Let's do that for the moment. And. Um. Um. Um, all right, let's get, let's get a, let's get a skin coracle. He is going to go in the Kai's army. We've almost kind of got two good armies now, which is, I mean, considering the number of settlements, frankly, a travesty. War babies, recent spawning. More Cyrus, uh, more skin community. Uh, I guess more Cyrus. We could replace these last skin cohorts with with Cyrusy boys, which does does make a lot of sense. How much does this cost? Jesus, it's quite expensive. Do we have to go the whole hog? Could we not, like, you know, just whack a bit of MDF together? Just make it look nice. Uh, that's going to give me another 150 income, so let's do that one. Does this give me... Oh, it doesn't give me walls as well, no. Okay, then we'll get, we'll get walls there, because uh, I don't... Aranessa's sailing around here, and I don't like that. Are you going after the... You are going the after run. the Bretonians, which is fine. Cut. Right, now we need to kill the Greenskins, right? Although maybe killing the Dwarves and Skeletor would be a good idea, just to protect my, just to protect my rear, because I don't trust them. That's the problem. Don't trust the buggers. Okay, you're going. Hang on, come over here. Okay, uh, let's get rid of you. get you in there. Increase mobility, which is very useful. Almost makes me want to put one in Tic-Tac-Toe's army. Horde growth. Yeah, I don't think that's going to come into play somehow. So instead, okay, we've got Proud Warrior. Let's go Sacred Guardian. We want some Crocs to as well, don't we? But we don't have it because I knocked down the building. I, I knocked down the building. What a dick. Never mind. What we can do is get the Spirit of Tepok. So let's do that. That means that we need to get rid of probably one of you guys. Now, you have been slacking. Also, I don't have the money. Never mind. We'll have the money next turn. See? Didn't didn't forget that... Didn't have the... Every time. Every fucking time. Hello, dwarves. Let me guess. You're cancelling? Yep. Okay, well, it was nice to have beardy friends while it lasted, but uh, it seems like we may need to kill him. Research rates. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I do need to do some recruitment, so I'm going to heed the priests. Hawattle's dead. Holy shit. The boss. Master Mundi is Tic Tac Toe's boss. It's like finding Jeff Bezos bleeding out on the floor. You'd definitely not put the boot in, would you? No, definitely wouldn't do that. Would be rude. It'd be rude to do that. Definitely wouldn't do that. Right, you, you, you guys are fired. And we're gonna get some lovely. Well, we get one spear boy. Something like that. That army now looks actually pretty effective. I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing I would like is maybe some more Croxagores. Particularly the sacred variety. Definitely the sacred variety. Right, you. Come through here just because I want to know what's going on. I mean, it looks like the dwarves have yet... Oh, you haven't actually moved. Noted, but you... Jeez. Is that two stacks? My axe thirsts for war. Does it? Okay. <laughs> yep, scheduled patrols. Military access. Yes, yeah, they're definitely... You know, considering I sided with them against Skeletor... 
Did I slide with them? Or did I slide against them? No, I slided with them. I slided with them and they're still shitty with me. Well, you know, what you gonna do? What? What you gonna do? Okay, we need to lure out these... Uh, right, we'll get you. We need to lure out these dwarves somehow. And ideally, without them sneaking out. So I'm going to need to Kai down here as well, aren't I? Alright. Come on, big guy. Shift your scales. Shift your bloody scales. Alright, let's do precise. Perfect. And Goose, you're going to get an ancient Slegid on, mate. I know. It's a ballsy move. But I'm full of balls. Your colonies are dead as well. What the hell's going on over there? Like, first it was Marathi. Then New World Colonies, they're down here. Mazda Mundi's dead as well. There's there's some weird shit going on. Hung Invasion. Here we go, and the Bray Herds come. Where? Over there. Okay. Herrick spawning. We've got a Sara Scar veteran. Ooh. Where's he? Hello? Hello, friends? Hello? Oh, there you are. You come up the okay, well. Meander over here. What we're going to have to do is try and lure them into an ambush. Because taking on both those stacks at the same time is going to be dicey, to say the least. Not impossible, but dicey. Also, you can get those boys. So, let's get rid of you. Oh, actually, you know what? I quite like... Ah, they're garbage. No, not you. You. There we go. Perfection. So now you've got big power fist boys. They're li they've literally got power fists. These bloody look! Look at these guys. We'll declare war on each other. Are you going to attack each other? Nah. We're just going to sit here, right within range of each other, but do nothing. Absolutely nothing about it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Oh, we could get blessed temple guard though. Lovely tanky temple guard. Mm. Strike now! Or oh, wait, then strike. Um, strike now. Okay, do you have a big garrison? No, actually. Not a big garrison. You do have quarrelers, which are a problem. But we can probably deal with you? Hello, lad. What do you actually? What do you do? You're fleet-footed. Uh, I guess that's fine. Did you just tell me to jog on? Dick. Never mind. Right, we'll put you in there. Uh, you don't have any magical support, actually, do you? It's a bit of a problem. I should probably rectify that. Uh, stink priest, uncompromising, arrogant, confident. Pompous. Uh, confidence is more weapon strength, which is quite nice. On compromise is more melee defense, but you know what? The best form of defense is uh, Amber Spear in the face, so that one. Don't question me. Okay. We're gonna. Right, we're basically gonna hit both of these at the same time. It's, um. You know, it, it could work. Actually, how long before... If Talk I were to declare war on you... Language, if you must. I make no promises as to the outcome. Yeah, but how long? I mean, my, my reputation's back to medium, so I don't... I mean, on the other hand, do do I really need friends? Should I just kill everyone? You know, thinking about it... What do you... What do I actually need to... Right, I need to control all of that. I need to kill those guys. I need to control... Eight of those. I need to kill Chaos. Maybe if I just raid them. Oh, but I can't raid, can I? Because I'm a lizard. Apparently lizards don't know how to raid shit. 
guess I don't want anything. Weapon strength is nice. Very nice. Now we're going to take the Sheik. Going to do that. I need defenses here. I don't really want to ruin my relations uh, reputation because then I probably won't be able to get a trade with the elves. And I do want, in fact, I don't want to meet the elves until my reputation is repaired in case they don't want to trade with me. You dare approach a lord of the Dowie in oh, it's such because a I'm still manner. trading with them. I mean, you're the one that broke the other treaties, you dick. I mean, I've got to wait ten turns. You come to the Lich King. <laughs> <laughs> you come to the Lich King. <laughs> I don't want to trade with you. Oh. Uh, you don't be trade with you? No. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, probably should have. Uh, probably should have checked that beforehand. I hadn't realised I was still trading. Never mind. I've got, I've got gold. Screw them. I'll trade between myself, Blackjack and Hookers. Maverick. I mean, if they declare war on me, right? Right? So I can sit in their territory and piss them off. I won't get anything for it, but... Okay, you come over here, put you in this army, probably get rid of the comedian. Well, I don't know. Do I want to get rid of the comedian skinks? Uh, what, I might I might take Viper out because you know, with a Sara Scar veteran, do I need another Flappy Boy? Probably not. Sequence of massed combats. I'll have a good old sequence of massed combats. Right, well, we've killed the Bretonians, so that's good. Um, we've taken the Black Pyramid. That's a bit of a win. Now we just need to kill the dwarves. I don't want to ruin our reputation again. Unless, do I? Do I just do it? Do I just rip the plaster off? What's the worst that can happen, realistically? Oh, you motherfuckers. All right. Yeah, we're, we're just we're just gonna have to go for it. I think it's it's not the preference, but unfortunately, it's gonna have to be done. For the wisdom of Valea. Because with those beastmen right there, it's just gonna make my life worse. So let's let's kill them. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I know. A few dwarves here, and dwarves are very tanky. They don't run. Uh, it's going to be a tricky fight. They do outnumber us over two to one. So that's fine. We do have a comedian skins coming in from the rear. The blessed carnosaur is going to try and tie up two units of long beards, and you know should be able to do that. Meanwhile, the Kai and the cohort of Hawattle. Power fist armed. Look at these boys. Look at them. Look at them lumber away. I love them. They're brilliant. Ooh, getting getting straight in there and bludgeoning those miners. The itty bitty little pieces. The Kai rampaging through the quarrelers. Very nice. Meanwhile, the battle is joined all across the line. We have uh, giant slayers fighting Saurus. I mean, the giant slayers should do not particularly well against Saurus. I mean, it should be fairly even there. I'm hoping. We do have uh, S -Simp 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 Simpson. 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 Dropping rocks on people over the flank there. Over here we have the blessed Croxidors engaging Longbeards, and also some quarrelers have been caught by the Pock Hopak cohort. And they're being wiped out very nicely. I'm hoping to like hit the flank. I didn't want the blessed Croxidors to engage these giant slayers. So we're setting them on fire and also taking them from the rear with some blessed chameleon skinks, which should be you know, pretty effective. They don't really have much in the way of armor or physical resistance or anything like that. So they will be going down pretty quickly. The center is holding for the moment. A little bit of weakness over here. We're taking a little bit of fire there from the satchel charges. 
and also the Saraskal veteran is fighting a Thane and the enemy general at the same time and is struggling a little bit. However, the the sacred Croxagor are just mulching those miners, no problem there. Nakai is finding dealing quarrels fairly easy. Um, these quarrelers, are they, are they getting, taking some pot shots at us? What are they shooting at? They're not actually shooting at us. Oh, they're, they're shooting at the maximum barbs, weirdly. Oh, well. There's been a rout on the left flank, which is perfect, because that means that we can now move our Colborn Spear Riders and the Blessed Crop Score round to engage the dwarves in the rear. Crashing into those quarrelers, no problem. The Blessed Chameleon Skinks dealing with another unit of quarrelers, and the Blessed Crop Score now lumbering their way around the rear of the battle line. We've sent in our... Uh, what's, his, what's his face? The, the Spitzik Skink Oracle. That's the one to help out with the Thane and the Lord. Because, you know, God knows we need it. The Blessed Crops, their stats are actually pretty good. 73 charge bonus. They, um, they're really nasty on the charge. Ooh. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. More Blessed Crops now coming around on the rear. And while the Saras have just been slowly grinding the dwarves down, they have been winning all across the... You can see that the, the, the Dwarf Warriors getting losing to the Saras Warriors. I mean, I guess the thing is that the, while the Dwarf Warriors are very tanky, they don't have much in the way of attack. So they're not doing very well actually at killing the Saras. And the Saras are just killing them slightly faster. I, I, don't, I don't kink shame, so that's fine. Rear charge there from the Blessed Croxagore, slamming into the back of the Longbeards with great weapons. That's going to be enough to rout them, and that is going to cause mass routing across the entire battle line. There we go. The dwarf, the dwarf forces are defeated. And now we just need to take their capital and fix my reputation. Ah, oh, look at Tiny take... I'm, I'm, I do fucking love the Croxagors, though. I do. I do love those boys. Oh, so good. Right. Take the eye of the panther. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. bam. You get the idea. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's take out... Let's see if we can do this. They may decide to come out to play, in which case I'm okay. Oh, no, because, of course, we've got the, the emotional support burb. So we can actually uh, launch an attack. Okay, so it's going to be tricky because I've got a lot of quarrelers and guns. Uh, but if they put them on the wall, we can drop rocks on them. Unless we just want to lay siege and see if they'll come out to fight. That might be the better option. So let's just lay siege and uh, see what happens. Telsian, the flappy burb, you can have uh, piercing shots. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Good, good, good. Right. We've got 4k in the bank, uh, but our reputation is in tatters, so you don't get to go and see the elves anymore. Sorry. Geomantic web, which is a thing that's pretty... To be honest, it's one of those things that's very passive, right? It, it's, there's no... I'm glad to see in Warhammer 3 we're going to get some really... And particularly Warhammer 2, like the latest DLC, it's got some really interesting mechanics for the different um, for different factions. But the Geomantic Web is not very good because it's... You can basically just forget it exists. Because there's nothing you can do apart from build the building. Apart from build uh, this. That's the only way you can sort of... And, and conquer territory. So you just conquer territory and build that building... You can basically never click the button because why would you care? It's it's just not an in, it's just no interesting mechanics behind that, which is a bit of a shame. I was really hoping there's going to get um, a bit more of a a beefy mechanic because uh, so, you know I really like the the dark elves like the name thing. It's not big, but it can have a fairly large effect on how you outfit your armies. Like if you get the the shadow trait or whatever for the army which then uh makes shades better of course your army is going to contain more shades and that's just something that just sort of like makes makes um how you pick your your traits sort of it, it's an interesting choice right and the skaven have a whole bunch of mechanics like the undercity that's always really fun and then the high elves they have their 
you know, playing around with diplomacy thing and, of course, spending it on getting um, better lords with better traits. And the Lizard Men have this geomantic web, which is just garbage. Oh, I guess they have the blessed units as well, which is, again, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can have a fireball. Have a fireball. And you you did very well, actually. For being only a level one boy, you, you fought well. So I'm going to give you a burning blade, an obsidian trinket, and a potion of strength. And that's it. It's all you can have. But it's not bad. And let's also go with this to get some more cash for pleasure rates, because of course we are in unpleasant climates, and as such, we're not we're not fans. Uh, let's go with Wissian's with, with Wild Form. That means we can get the Air of Effect buff, which would be quite nice. Uh, Sudenberg, we could upgrade you. Do I want to do that though? Do I want to do that, or do should I save my? I think I'm going to save my pennies. Yeah, I'm going to save my pennies. Right, let's see if the dwarves attack. If they don't attack, then at least we can bring Tiny down to help out. Oh, well, they didn't want to come to play, which is... It's fine, I guess? If we go this way, then we'll get the extra replenishment. In fact, if you go and sit in there, you'll get full replenishment, I think. Close as, and then hopefully you're... Yeah, okay, good. So either you attack next turn and we bomb the shit out of you, or it's fine. Those are the options. The two options. Oh, no. Okay, let's get defences there. We may be able to hold out, but... What kind of army do you have? Uh, fairly nasty one. You've got... You've got minor tours and shit. So if we can drop if we can drop rocks on all of their missile units, we should be fine. So I think that's probably better in a in a field battle than a siege because on the siege they're probably up on the walls and that makes it a little bit more tricky. Whereas yeah, I, I think that's probably if we can get them in the field, all the better. Otherwise, Tiny can come and join the party. In which case, you know we can win that too, no problem. And they, yeah, they don't they don't want to come to play. Uh, attack rather than defend. Yeah. All right. Well, can't say we we didn't give them didn't give them the choice here. Uh, but I think we're going to end it there. So the poll for next time is going to be oh, bloody beast men. Bloody be right. What's what's my relations like? What's my very low? Yeah. Okay. Well. Right. So we're we're going to go and we're going to kill the dwarves. We're going to kill Skeletor. Then we're going to double kill Skeletor. Which means I'll need walls in the Sheik, because otherwise they will come out there and take it while I'm busy. Unless I can, you know, sneak them. Um, that's fine. Otherwise, the poll's going to be, should we kill the Orcs or should we kill the, the Dune Kingdoms? Alternatively, should we make friends with the Dune Kingdoms? Ooh, throwing that out there. I mean, we do... Do we need... We need the Southlands Jungle, Land of the Dead. Great Desert of Araby, Land of Assassins. So we got that one. Southern Badlands, Kingdom of Beasts, which is over there. So we don't actually... Yeah, we don't... Act, I don't think we actually need... We don't need the Shifting Sands, so we could just leave the Dune Kingdoms to their own devices. Or the Ash River, we don't need any of that. So we could we could maybe... Should we make friends with the Dune Kingdoms, or should we kill them? Or should we kill the Orcs? Should we kill... Wait, no. Okay, should we kill the Orcs and make friends with the Dune Kingdoms? Or kill the Dune Kingdoms... And the orcs. There we go. That's that's the poll for next time. And then we're just going to go and alpha strike the dwarves. Although it could be tricky. But with Tiny in tow, I think we should be fine. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.